guys, Matt here. Now I'm going to be reviewing the movie Sucker Punch, which is Zack Snyder's latest movie. Now, Zack Snyder is the guy that previously brought us movies like Watchmen and 300 and even Dawn of the Dead, the remake. And he's soon to be releasing uh, Superman Man of Steel. So when I first heard about this movie, the first thing I thought of was Zack Snyder, Watchmen, I've got to see this. And then when the trailer came out, I thought, oh my goodness, that action, you know, is, is phenomenal. You know, I bet it takes up the majority of the movie. Uh, and then I saw it. And uh, I was mistaken. And not only was I mistaken, but I was uh, disappointed. Now, Zack Snyder's previous works, except for Dawn of the Dead, were based on graphic novels. 300, based on Frank Miller's work, and Watchmen, based on Alan Moore and uh, Dave Gibbons' work. So, the movie stars Emily Browning, Jamie Chung, Vanessa Hudgens, um, Jenna Malone, Abby Cornish, and uh, Scott Glenn, with a small role by um, John Hamm. Right. And it also stars uh, Carla Gugina, who's also in uh, Watchmen and uh, Sin City. You'd know her if you saw her. So, the plot of the movie is um, Emily Browning's character, her name is Baby Doll. Uh, she is an orphan, and she's put into this um, institution by her stepfather, who is really abusive, so she, like, defends herself one night, and it just scares the crap out of him, and he just decides, okay, you're unfit to live with me, I'm going to put you in this, you know, mental hospital, because you're not safe to be around. So, he puts her in this mental institution. Well, while she's in there, she develops this way of coping with the situations that she's been put in. But the way she copes with that situation is by dancing. The mental hospital is a front, if you will, for this, like, cabaret, if not brothel-type place where all the patients are um, subjected to dance and perform for these gentlemen that come in who pay and make you know money for the people that run the institution. And so the way Baby Doll copes with her situations that she doesn't want to be in is she dances. Now, we never get to see her dance, which is unfortunate, because all of the women in this movie are very, very attractive. And I've got to say, Jenna Malone, who I think was the most experienced actress in the movie of, of the girls, has never looked hotter. I mean, whew, that short hair, she's come a long way from her clean-cut, you know, roles in Saved and uh, Life is a House, amongst others. Now, when Baby Doll dances and basically leaves reality to go to her imaginary zone, uh, that's when all the action takes place. That's when... You know, she's given these five different items that she will need to find in order to escape this facility. And the action was phenomenal. It was it was great. If the whole movie was just the action, I would have rated this movie a five out of five. But because it was just awesome action, with you know awesome special effects that you know really trumped a lot of action movies that have come recently, like Clash of the Titans. Uh, even though it's a different movie, I thought the action was a lot better than Battle of Los Angeles. I mean, a lot of movies that have come out. Because it's action for small, you know, portions and small doses of the movie, and then it goes back to reality that's just boring and dull and dreary. From 1 to a 5, this movie's getting a 3. Now, it's not Zack Snyder's best work. You know, I'm sure he'll he'll learn from this. It had a lot of potential, but it just seemed like it was two different movies in one, and I just left the theater going, oh, man, I could have waited and rented that one. So don't get me wrong. Action, awesome. Awesome. Just take 300, take Watchmen, take Sin City, roll it all up into a ball, you know, throw in some of, you know, Constantine in there, and, and that's what you get. That's the type of action you get. It's mind-blowing. So, if I direct this from 1 to a 5, again, it gets a 3. Simply because I wanted something as epic as 300, 
but instead I got something very, very disappointing and misleading like this spirit. 